Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are in Tucson. We're staying at a vacation rental just temporarily right now, but I wanted to get back into doing some regular videos, just regular sit down videos with you. So I thought today I would do a um, kind of just a chatty get ready with me and I'm going to use more budget friendly products. All right, I'm going to start with Milani eye primer. This is a really good drugstore eye primer. It's probably the best that I've ever tried and it's cruelty free. So what I like about this eye primer is that it is flesh tone. So it gives a little bit of that concealer effect to your eyelid. So, you know, that thin skin on your eyelid, it can kind of show, you know, a little bit of veining and a little bit of discoloration maybe sometimes. Um, so that helps knock that out. It also dries down and it really locks onto the makeup and makes your eyeshadow pop. So it really does a good job as a budget friendly eye primer. Okay, for eyeshadows, we're going to be using this palette today. This is Pink Nudes by Pacifica. The palette goes for $14 on their website, and the colors in here are awesome. There's like blush tones, nudes, deep chocolate browns, and they just go really well together. I'm going to be using this brush set. Um, this is from Vanity Planet, and it's my first time using a brush set from them, but I thought I'd check it out. Uh, they have a sale going on on it. It's uh, like 70% off. So I thought this would be a good budget friendly item to be using, you know, try to keep it more in the budget friendly range in this video. So you get a full set of brushes in here, face brushes, eye brushes. I think there is what, like 14? Oh wait, 15. So you actually get a little tiny lip brush too, which this one is super cute. It's in that little, like a little silver bullet package um, or a pack, you know, case, I guess. Uh, and then it has a little kabuki too that it also comes with. It's right around $25 for the whole the whole thing once you get the discount. Um, so I'll post a link below. I'm not affiliated with them, but I am trying this out and we're going to test it out together. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. So far, there's some brushes in there that I really like. And then, you know, there's always like a couple that you're like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of use out of that, but you know, it's there in case you need it. Oh, and I don't know if I showed yet, but these have wood handles, which is cool. I sort of like that natural look. Oh, let me show you the colors up close here so you can get an idea of what we're going to be working with. Okay, so we've got some dark chocolate browns here, a golden brown, more of a taupe, and then a really light kind of, uh, well, it's, it's not like a bone color, it's a little bit of taupiness. It's like a taupey ivory. And then down along the bottom here, we have more of a dusty rose, kind of a, a little bit of mauviness to it. Coral, uh, like a light kind of peachy coral, and then it gets more into the brightening kind of champagne tones. So let's take the slightest nude up top here. So I'm just doing a sheer wash of color all over the lid and then into the crease and slightly up onto the brow bone. I'm going to get into this golden brown and just take a little of that all over the lid. So I'm taking it on the lid into the crease and we'll just buff that out. That's going to be our, our blending color too. I'm going to switch to this fluffy pencil brush and we'll get into this dark chocolate brown color. Actually, this is more of a, it's actually more of a milk chocolate brown. So I'm just buffing that into the lash line and that outer V, we're going to bring it right in along that lash line. Do kind of a nude, smoky eye. I'm going to grab my smudger brush and get into this dark chocolate color here. I'll just work that into the lash line and just the deepest point of the outer V there. I'm going to take a little of this blush tone here, the second to lightest. It does have a brightening, I think it's a little bit of super fine mica in there. So it's not super shimmery or anything, but it's just this gorgeous, brightening, kind of like moon glow finish. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take a little of this coral color and I'm going to blend a couple colors because I want to create kind of a, a little bit of a rust tone. So first I'll apply a little of the coral and then we'll take a little of that golden brown. I'm just blending that into that peachy coral. So we're creating just a little more warmth down there so it's not going to look, you know, super like peachy, it's just gonna be a little more rust tone. I'm gonna use one of my favorite drugstore eyeliners. This is Milani Supreme Cool, and this is super, super black. This is, let's see, they call this Blackest Black? Yep, 01 Blackest Black. It's awesome, you guys. Uh, so it also lasts all day long. Uh, like, I don't seem to get any fading or anything, even on my generally oily eyelids in the 100 degree heat. You guys, this Milani eyeliner, definitely try it out if you're looking for a good budget-friendly black eyeliner. For mascara, I'm using Pacifica Stellar Gaze, and this is in Supernova. Okay, so I'm using Cover FX Clear Cover. I love the sunscreen. It applies like a primer. It's like a serum primer sort of consistency, um, so it's not a cream, and it there's no white cast or anything to it, so it's just totally clear from beginning to end 
don't have to wait for any white cast to disappear or anything. It's awesome. So this is my favorite sunscreen this summer. I love this. It's brand new. They just came out with it. Um, the thing is, it's not budget friendly. It's it's pretty expensive. It's like 40 $42 or $45 or something for, what is it, one ounce? Yeah. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated if I ever come across a budget friendly dupe for the Cover FX Clear Cover Sunscreen. For concealer, I've been testing out Blemish Vanish from Pacifica. This palette, it has three different colors in it. We have the green for reducing redness, we have the pink for brightening, and we have the yellow for combating, I think, like purpley blue tones and redness also. So I'm taking a little of the, the yellow and the pink and I'm gonna apply that under my eyes. So one thing I noticed about this, it takes the tiniest amount and I get too much on almost every time because it's it's pretty soft. So as soon as you tap the brush in there, or it could just be because it's hot right now, it's like probably 90 something degrees in here right now. So it's extra, extra soft. So I'm just gonna tap that in and sort of just let it melt into the skin. So the combination of the yellow and the pink do really well for brightening the under eyes and, you know, uh, making that purpley blue under eye circle, you know, fade and brighten up a bit. And then I'm going to take a little of the green and just apply it to some of my, I have some old acne marks. They're not, they're not scars, but they're not like current breakouts. They're just sort of like leftover redness, like little red marks. For foundation, I'm using Gabriel Cosmetics. This is their dual powder foundation. I got this for about $20 at my health food store. So I don't know if that necessarily fits into the, the budget friendly category or not. Uh, I know that they do have a lot of sales. So I'm going to use a flat top brush from the palette brush set. Um, that's what this is called, the palette brush set, in case you're curious. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I also wanted to try the Kat Von D Lockup Foundation. If any of you guys have tried that, let me know what you think of it. If it worked out for you and what your skin type is. My skin type tends to be um, more on the oily side, but I do have like a couple of like dry patches that kind of come up every once in a while right around there on the sides of my jaw. Okay, I'm gonna switch and try out this little Kabuki because I haven't got to try that one yet. So I'll apply, I'll buff in a little powder with that too. Um, so, so far the brushes, I haven't experienced any shedding. I've already washed them a couple times too. I was curious about that because whenever I see, you know, really affordable brushes, I'm like, okay, is there anything that I need to know about these? Is there like bits of glue stuck on the ferrule? Are there any loose ferrules? Do they shed? What is the story with these? But yeah, so far these have been pretty good. One other product that I wanted to test out is the Pacifica Neutral Mattifier and it's a translucent powder. I know I just applied a powder, but I kind of want to try this out anyway, just to sort of check it out. It smells kind of fruity. Okay, so I'm going to take my little fluffy powder brush there. So normally I would be using this over a liquid foundation, but I just want to check out the finish of it. Um, so I'll have to report back to you on that because I haven't got to test that out yet. This is just like a first time checking it out, seeing how it is. Um, but yeah, the powder itself is pretty silky smooth. It blends in pretty well. Okay, we're going to do brows now. I've got Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. Oops, my little mirror. I'm using like a tiny little mirror here to, to do my makeup. I can't wait to get set up in a new house and like get my filming set up again. I really miss having like a regular, a regular little room to set up and film in for you guys. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun to get back into some DIYs and decorating. And I want to do a lot of budget-friendly stuff because let me tell you, the trip, the moving, and everything, it pretty much pretty much sucked my pocketbook dry. <laughs> that, was a, that was an expensive move, but it was kind of like, well, we knew we wanted to do it for a long time and there was no perfect time. You just gotta, you just gotta go after stuff sometimes, you know? Waiting around for the perfect time to do it, it just, it was feeling like it was just not gonna happen, you know? There's no perfect time to do stuff. You kind of just gotta go for it sometimes. I'm also testing out this brow gel. I've only used it once before, but this is the Stunning Brows from Pacifica. So it's a clear gel. Okay, here's another product that we're gonna try out today. This is Pacifica. This is one of their Rainbow Crystals Liquid Mineral Strobe, and this is in Unicorn. Um, I bought the set of these on Ulta. They're around 13 or $14. I can't remember which, but they are beautiful highlighters. So it's a doe foot applicator. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry, my camera's getting a little washed out there. Um, and it appears to be a white liquid, but then when you swatch it, it's like this duochrome of pink. It's really pretty. It's like a, a 
pink shimmers. So we're just gonna do some dots there and just blend this in. So the thing with the Pacifica Rainbow Crystals is because it does dry down, it dries down really quickly. Um, so you just wanna, you know, blend it out pretty quickly after you dot it onto your skin because it's gonna dry down and then it's gonna lock onto your skin. But it does have good lasting power, it's beautiful, and they have multiple colors of these too. I think they have like four different ones. Okay, so that was Unicorn, the pink one. Um, if you guys want to see the other colors, I can do a video um, and just like swatch them for you all side by side so you can see all the colors together. For highlighting the nose and Cupid's bow, I'm actually going to switch to my Milani strobe light. I love these highlighters. They're so beautiful. You see that? It's like sand dunes going across the product. And I'm just going to take a little on my finger and run that down my nose. And these are such pretty highlights, you guys. They're a very shiny highlighter. They have a lot of sheen to it, um, but you can kind of blend that out and soften it. Uh, they also don't have any sort of like uh, chunky glitter or anything like that. They're just very silky smooth and they just have such a pretty finish. These are definitely one of my favorite drugstore highlighters. It is also vegan and cruelty free. I also emailed them to check if it was vegan because I couldn't find anywhere online that said or specified that it was, but they did confirm that all of their shades are vegan. And same with this blush here. Um, these are their new Color Harmony blushes. These are gorgeous too. I really like these a lot. So this is um, in Coral Beans. I have two of them. I got the Bronze Burst and Coral Beans. Look at the, the pattern on there. On the product. I think that is just really gorgeous. So I'm going to take an angle brush and just kind of swirl all the colors around. And the product is packed really tightly in there too, so it's like, it's silky, it's smooth, it's well packed. So I got their two warmer tone blushes, but they do have two cooler tone. They have a pink one, um, I think it's called like Pink Play or something like that, and then Berry Rays. So those also look really beautiful too. I have two different lip options here. Do I go with the Pacifica Tenderness Devotion Lipstick or do I use Milani in Matte Naked? I like both of these a lot. This one is more pink tone, it's like a pink nude, and then this one is more like a, almost like a taupey nude. Well, it's like a medium nude. So, oh, toss up, toss up. I like both of them. This one smells like vanilla, it's really good, but I think I'm gonna try this one. This feels really good on the lips. It's very moisturizing. So that was Tenderness from Pacifica's Devotion line. Um, so I just did a light wash of it, but that's the color. It's just a pink nude, and I think it's a really pretty natural pink nude. Um, this is Alternative Apparel. I got this at Nordstrom Rack. It's just a v-neck kind of blush tone top. I have my white uh, Thread Market shorts on. I've got my Maui Gems. I've got my Snapdragon bag. This is the Moon Dance one, rose gold. They have the silver, gold, and rose gold. I got the rose gold one because I thought these were so pretty. I love the bangle style. I just think it's such a cool, cool style clutch. I was thinking of doing favorite cruelty-free bags or, you know, favorite, like, vegan bags. Uh, you know, as far as, like, clutches, handbags, even, like, makeup bags. So I thought I'd, like, compile those all into one video and share all my favorites with you guys. Because I know sometimes it's hard to find, like, good, you know, good quality vegan bags. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I'm getting ready to go out and go house hunt with Michael. I'll take you guys out there, so I'm going to switch cameras, and I'm going to keep vlogging. Well, I'm going to keep filming, but I'm going to switch to a vlog now. So I'll, I will let you guys go for now. All right, guys, we are ready to go house hunt.